everyone, my name is Ariel and I'm a Clo 3D designer here in the New York City office. In today's tutorial, we're gonna go over how to use Morph Target to take a garment from one state to another, as well as how to turn that into a handy little turntable. To start, I really just need to open up any file I've already completed in Clo. In this case, I'm opening up a blazer uh, that I used from Clo. This is actually a blazer available in the Clo Connect store. So if any of you are interested, you can head on over there to go and get it. Once we have our blazer, we can see here, I have my 3D window as well as my 2D window with my patterns. We need to save this out as an OBJ or object file. To do this, let me go ahead and select all those pattern pieces. Go to file, export, OBJ selected. What we get first is where on our computer we want to start uh, save these. I actually already have them saved, but in this case, I'll just save an extra as demo sewn. Uh, usually what I do when I'm saving these is I save the names as the states that they are. So in this case, this would be demo sewn and we'll have our exploded view as well. Uh, I would click on save and we're going to get a pop-up asking, how do we want to save this? Selected patterns, select all graphics and trims. In my case, you know, I have a little button trim, so I want to make sure that comes with. Uh, make sure we are in thick for our textured surface, as well as say with absolute textures. Now that that is done, I can click OK, and Chloe is going to save out this garment as an OBJ. Once Chloe is finished, saving this item, I can open up or get ready for my garment in a second state. When I decide what second state I want my garment to be in, I'll usually do a file save as. So I'm gonna kind of do an exploded view. So if I go to file, save as, project, blazer, apart view. You can again save it as any name convention that works for you. I just like to make sure that I have my original blazer state as well in case I ever do need to go back to it. Once I have this saved, I could then start to actually reset my pattern pieces in any way that I want them to morph back into this garment. That could be anything from the garment just being on the floor. It could be me selecting my pattern pieces and simply resetting them to their 2D state. I could select all those pattern pieces and reset them to their 3D state. That's a little bit of a funny state. I could use the avatar's arrangement points to set them up. In this case, I've already pre-set up my second state. And again, what's nice is I can simply drag and drop to open up this file in the Clo 3D window. Let Clo load and open that one up for us. And now I can see again, it's the exact same pattern pieces in 2D and 3D, but in this case, all of my pattern pieces have used that exploded view. I can see interior lining and lapel pieces. I can even see the shoulder pieces here on both sides. So I can see all the different pattern pieces that actually encompass and make up this garment. And again, you could do any state that you, your creativity lets you think about and make. In this case, again, all I wanna do is now save this as that OBG state. So selecting all of my pattern pieces, going to file, export again obj selected this would be a, a demo apart and i'll click save i'm going to use once the pop-up starts i'm going to use the exact same settings that i've already set so selecting all my pattern pieces selected graphics and trims if you have them multiple objects making sure that this is set to thick and again, save with absolute textures and click OK. Clo is again gonna go through and save that file for me. So I now have my garment saved in both a sewn state, OBJ, and a kind of exploded apart view state. Next, what I do need is just a clean working space to start the animation process. Going up to file, new project, and again, just a nice clean working state. And in fact, I don't even need my 2D window anymore. So I can go ahead to that bottom right-hand corner and click on 3D. Again, it's all about screen real estate. I only really need to see what I need to see. And I'm gonna start with whichever of these states I want my garment to start in. In that case, for this one, I actually want it to start in that apart view. So I can come over to my linked folder. Again, you can always link folders using this add button to link files directly from your computer, cloud, share, drive, whatever you may have. And I'm going to go to, and click on that OBJ, double click, open, avatar hit okay and that state is going to open up. 
Actually, I just realized I opened up my sewn one by accident, but you know what's nice is in Clo, we can always go back and start again. It's really never the end of the world. Remember guys, in real life, it is all about the measuring twice, cutting once, but in nice and Clo is you don't necessarily have to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually delete this file and I'm gonna open up the correct one, which is the OBJ apart. Again, open and avatar. Sorry about that guys, but again, we're all human and what's really nice about Clo is we can always fix it. All right, so Clo is opening up this. So again, this is going to be more of an OBJ. Everything is attached. They are visually individual pattern pieces, but again, it is all linked together as one solid object. Perfect. I can even tell if I double click, it selects everything right there. All right, so now I have my OBJ here for myself. And what I really wanna do now is do this morph target process. And in order to do the morph target process, I'll see I have my OBJ of my other version. In this case, it is the sewn blazer. And instead of double clicking to add it, I'm going to right click and choose add to workspace. The only difference here from anything we've done before is object type. I'm going to change it from avatar to morph target because we want Chloe to actually morph it from one to the other. When I select morph and click okay, again, Chloe is gonna load this in. It's kind of calculating the animation process of it getting from one state to the next state, which is actually pretty cool when you think about it. And then we're gonna actually be able to jump straight into our animation and see that it is already there for us. So my garment just kind of popped itself back together in that second saved state. But if I come up to the upper right-hand corner and come from simulation to animation, we can actually see here, we have a little animation bar. I'm gonna go back to our beginning or go to start. And now when I click play, you can actually see we have the recorded animation of the garment going from one state to another state, which is really cool and really fun. What we can start to think about doing in this is adding in maybe some cool camera motions and things to really bring this to life before we render it. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to go back to our beginning and I'm going to use adding keyframes. So keyframes were added in the seven version of Clo and are really great to use to add in animations and more to your videos and creations. I'm going to start by adding in a keyframe. And if I zoom out and click on our keyframe, there we go. We can actually start to see our camera motions. Oh, let's actually go ahead and open up our camera viewfinder. So we can actually see our camera. We see what our camera sees. And you could even turn on the path if you feel that you need that as well. Just to start again, we have our camera position, our focus point here, and this line of sight. What I wanna do here is take our animation and actually rotate the camera completely around the avatar while it is morphing itself together. Starting with our first state and actually creating this rotation is going to be really easy. I'm gonna go from our current frame of zero all the way to our end frame of 30. Again, it just kind of snaps close. And all I wanna do is change our rotation from zero to 360 degrees. And if I come back to the beginning, and if you watch this camera here and click play, you can actually watch that the camera will now angle itself all the way around the garment as it morphs together and come back in a 360 degree motion. So it's really simple. If you come to your camera group, all you need to change is that rotation Y. And from there, you're ready to go into your render engine add any lighting and other fun effects and render it out for a final video. And just in case you're curious, I have it actually already made here for us if we want to see. I can go ahead and open this. Oop. Let's go ahead and open it properly. And I can hit play and actually see a fun finished video. I really hope that everybody here enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any questions or comments that you may have. We hope to see you in the future and happy clowing. Bye.